With me in the studio is now Marcel Fratscher, president of the respected DIW German Institute for Economic Research. He has written this book. It's called Verteilungskampf. The title roughly translates to the battle for your share of the wealth. He says that while Germany is certainly not poor, social mobility is low, which means those at the bottom stay there. Mr. Fratscher, as we uh, just saw, Germany seems to be working quite well. Are you going a bit far when you say the social contract is broken? It is true. Germany's labor market is doing very well. A lot of people have found jobs over the last 10 years. But Germany is also becoming more unequal. Germany today is one of the most unequal countries in the industrialized world. The uh, inequality of wealth, of private wealth, is the highest in all of the euro area. The top 10% have a lot. The bottom 40% basically have no wealth whatsoever. And also on wages, we see the gap getting bigger. So this is a long-term trend and it will continue. But wages are rising modestly, pensions are rising, and German social policy subsidizes a lot of uh, low-paid jobs, keeps millions above uh, the, the poverty line. To say that Germany's social market economy uh, uh, has failed, is, is, isn't that a bit much? We have to really think what social market economy means. It's not about a lot of redistribution. It's not about depending on the government. In Germany today, 40% of the East Germans receive half or more of their income from the government. The social market economy is about equality of opportunity where people can use their talents, have the chance to get a good education and a good job. And that exists for ever fewer people in Germany today. Uh, the refugee crisis doesn't help either. Just very briefly, is the government uh, um, handling it properly? No, we are lacking a really concrete integration program with concrete goalposts. What it means to have a successful integration and that we need to tackle urgently. Uh, Mr. Fratscher, is distribution of wealth the most important factor in gauging inequality? It is an important factor to look at wealth inequality. Uh, the top 10% have a lot, the 40%, bottom 40% basically have no net wealth. And this is a problem because if you look at pensions, um, if people don't have wealth they can draw on, they will end up in poverty in old age to a very high probability. Uh, we see the demographic change, so this problem will intensify. And also families that have no wealth uh, don't have the money to, for instance, spend on education for their children or to participate in social life. So it is a problem to have no wealth for the bottom 40%. And of course, it makes the income inequality even more severe because a lot of people receive income from their wealth. Uh, income is an important factor as well. Uh, does the tax system in Germany reflect this uh, uh, adjustment that is actually needed? The tax system in Germany is in a way that uh, the government receives record tax revenues. So the, the state, the government, uh, receives a lot of uh, income from taxes, more on income than on wealth. But I think we need to consider that the fact that the top 10% have a lot is not necessarily a problem because a lot of that wealth is in companies, yeah, in family companies, good, yeah. which is the backbone of the German economy. So we need to make that distinction. It's not necessarily a problem that the top 10% have a lot. The problem really is that the bottom 40% have nothing. Though these economists are disagreeing uh, with you. They say inequality is good for the economy. What's your response to that? Inequality is neither good nor bad. It depends what's the source of the inequality. If it's a functioning market economy that, you know, um, effort and success is honored, that's a good thing. Is not that not the case? But that's not the case. The problem in Germany is that the rising inequality is mainly the result of lack of opportunity for ever more people in society. It's a lack of chances. And so it's a, a lack of the functioning market economy. And if that's the case, we are really missing out a huge chunk of human capital in the society because a lot of people cannot really use their talents, have an opportunity to in get involved. And that's where the economic damage comes from. I'd like to come back to the fact that inequality is good for the economy. Shouldn't those at the bottom have to strive to get to the top? Isn't that a strong motivation? Of course, the people at the bottom have to strive, but they need to get the opportunity to do so. If someone doesn't get a, a good uh, early childhood education, who is coming from a socially weak background, parents have little income, if they don't get a good uh, training, a good education, uh, they don't really have the opportunity to do so. And that's the responsibility of the society and of politics, to really give each and every one the same opportunity to use their talent. And we know that's not the case. Social mobility in Germany is one of the lowest in Europe.
Marcel Fratscher, thank you very much for coming to the studio today.